So could I do something like that? Yeah, you would be, I mean, you would be absolutely perfect. Sweet. And it would, it would be so perfect for productivity as well, because yeah. you're not there, but your content is <clears throat> working on your behalf. Mm. Yeah, Ali Abdul AI. Okay, so I've just left the interview with Ali where he said that he wanted to make an AI version of him, which is cool. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Um, but also, there's actually quite a bit of pressure. Like you, I mean, you've seen the production quality of everything he does. So we need to make sure that this is um, amazing. Um, but I mean, online educators like him just have these, these frictions and these two friction points. And one of them is that their value is so linked to their time. So they can do one-on-one -on -one coaching, they can do group coaching, they can do cohorts, they can do meetups, but it, like it's still linked to their time. And they put all this in amazing information out there. They want people to use it. They don't wanna be busy, but they wanna make a massive impact with their work. So they're just like, so many are just too busy. So this, like his AI, Ali's AI is gonna help him so much. Um, and then also all their students or their clients tend to get different results because they all engage with the material in different ways. And what you want is for everyone to get the same amazing results and for everyone to keep recommending their friends and coming back. So this is gonna be really cool. But I think most importantly, it's gonna future-proof his business. AI is affecting the online educator business so much and Ali is definitely not gonna wanna get left behind. And we have, we have hundreds of creators doing exactly this in various different industries. Um, so we have Rose, who made Rosebot, who put Rosebot inside her community to answer questions, to guide her members. And she, so she helps female entrepreneurs make their first million. And now Rosebot does this too. So it saves Rose about five hours per week, which means that she can enjoy life more or take on more one-to-one -one clients and earn more money. And then we've got Rick. So Rick Mulready is a online business um, coach, marketer, and he teaches people how to um, make money from paid ads. He teaches people how to use AI in their business. And he is actually charging for access to the AI version of him. He has a bunch of members, they're in a community and they have access to pick Rick's brain AI, um, which is wild. And Ali could, I mean, Ali's got so many options. Ali could put it in his membership group. Ali could use it as a lead gen tool on his website to get people onto his mailing list, to get people ready to buy. He could absolutely charge for access. I mean, it kind of doesn't matter what he does with it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's so much that could be done here. I am ridiculously excited for this. Okay, update. So we've got the first call with Ali tomorrow, all about exactly what we're gonna do to set up the AI version of him. I am so excited, but I'm a tiny bit apprehensive. I don't know if he's still interested. I don't know if he still sees the value that an AI version of him, that Ali Abdul AI is gonna bring to his audience, but it's booked, it's tomorrow. So let's find out. Well, I'm always kind of dubious, like do, is this stuff actually useful for people? Like, you know, I was on the Tony Robbins app and I see he has a Tony Robbins bot, AI bot. There's not even a, a single iota of my of myself that's, that, that thinks, you know what? I want to chat to the Tony Robbins bot. I'm just like, why? <laughs> Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm just weird in that. Like to me, it just seems what like well, why would I do that? Uh, or if I'm just kind of an old school guy that doesn't believe in AI. But I'm, I'm curious as to whether people are actually getting value from AI chatbots. It depends how you see it as a as a product in your product range, because you could almost say Tony Robbins has got a book. Why would I read his book? Like. Why wouldn't I engage with something that's going to engage back? Like a book's just one way. I have to look at it and I have to read it and I have to think how to apply that. Like, why wouldn't I mm. speak to something that is like focused on me, not focused on him? So it kind of depends if you see, if you see your AI as an alternative to you and you think, oh, it's nowhere near as good, then yeah. But if you see your AI as an alternative to your book, which is like get coached from my book, then yeah. it becomes potentially more useful than a book. Okay, that's a good point. I, I, I hadn't thought of it. And yeah, I think a big part of it is in the framing of it. If it's like an AI chatbot is just another medium of content delivery, just like a book, a podcast, a YouTube video, or a course is, it's just a more personalized medium of content delivery that saves you time because instead of having to go through the 58 hours of content we have from a part-time YouTuber academy, if you have a question, you just ask the chatbot, which has been trained on all 58 of those hours, and it can just give you the answer straight away to avoid you having to, in a, in a way it becomes a sort of personalized search engine that you can sort of talk back to. And framed in that way, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can see myself using the Tony Robbins bot rather than reading a book. I wonder if the contrast is just how inaccessible you are compared to how accessible this is. Like, I wonder if people realize how inaccessible you are because 
they might have sent an email and not heard back, but they might not realize how many like hundreds of thousands you get all the time. And that like, mm. there's no chance they're ever going to get a response because you're, because if you're out there producing videos and updating social media and everything, they might think that you are more like more available for them than, than you actually are. Yeah. I mean, I'm very accessible if someone attends an event that I happen to be speaking at, because I usually show afterwards to answer questions, but like people have offered me 10 grand for an hour of my time on a Zoom call to give them advice. And I've been like, nah, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't need the money. And also I'd rather use that time to make a YouTube video that can, you know, reach 500, 500,000 people rather than have a Zoom call with one person. I'd wonder a bit like how, how long will this actually take to train? And crucially, do I or my team need to do anything? Because I don't want to put any time into training this myself. My team doesn't, never has capacity to do, even do the things within our business, let alone have time to train a, an AI experimental model. We also have like, seven years worth of YouTube videos, six years worth of newsletter, like hundreds of podcast episodes, like there's like dozens and dozens of hours of course content. So there's quite a lot of stuff. So I'd be a bit concerned if, you know, a real life human had to sit and sift through all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I guess, yeah, I'm much, I'm, I'm super chill about what a free version would look like. I trust you guys. I trust you're building a good product. It's free. I really have nothing to lose. If I was charging for it, now I would have all sorts of reservations because I'd be like, okay, now the advice needs to actually be good and it actually needs to be up to date. Some of the videos that I've shot about growing on YouTube, I shot in 2019 and growing on YouTube was different in 2019 than it is in 2024, for example. Um, I have changed my mind about a few things around productivity. I used to be quite optimizey and a little hustle culture -y. I've switched my whole stance on this a lot to feel good productivity and stuff. So I'd be a bit concerned around like, is the AI being trained on an up-to-date version of my brain or is it being trained on like the 2017 version of my brain? Okay, so we need to make sure that we take the right stuff. We need to make sure that we take the most relevant content. We need to make sure that we take the stuff that you actually believe now. And we need to make sure we take the stuff that's going to be, it's going to probably take the least amount of time so that we can test it, test the responses, see how it's getting on before we then put everything in there because it doesn't need to be everything that's in your brain it just needs to be the stuff that your audience most want to know about okay so we have a plan so now it's over to kimberly she's gonna take all of ali's content his newsletters his youtube videos his course content and she is going to upload that to create ali abdul ai kimberly is our community manager she is such a good ai trainer and so it's up to her to to do the stuff to make it amazing and also to focus on the stuff that ali believes now you heard what ali said we need to make sure that everything that's in his ai is stuff that he believes today not stuff that he was advising people like way back when that he doesn't actually believe anymore so this is going to be to kimberly to figure out absolutely everything and make it amazing hey jody here is how i went about setting up um ali abdul ai so first off i started with uh, setting his personality and i did that from um, a few different ways so first off watching um his own videos on his youtube channel um, obviously, Ali has loads of content that he puts out for free. So we did, well, I went through his YouTube channel. I went through all of his blogs on his website. Um, I also went through all of his um, course sales information. And then we were lucky enough to have access to his actual course, um, which was brilliant because it kind of it had so much information there on not just what he's delivering, but also how he delivers it in his language. Um, so because we had so much information because he's obviously been doing YouTube for so long. Um, it was quite an easy process to move all that across onto to creating the AI. To get his kind of words and phrases and like the vibe of his personality, I actually went back to YouTube, but instead of using Ali's own videos, I used videos that he either was appearing on or had guests on. For example, the video um, of you and Ali. So from that, I could take his um, like reaction and his kind of the language that he uses when he's talking to somebody and interacting with somebody. Um, so those videos were really, really helpful to get the kind of words and phrases that he uses in a conversation rather than just um, when he's speaking to camera and maybe might be a little bit more rehearsed. I can see why he's super popular because it, it just always comes across in all of his videos or his blogs that he genuinely cares. Um, so I can absolutely um kind of get a feel for actually why his audience would use this and they would want to um like ha feel like they're having that really personal conversation because a lot of ali's content 
does feel like he's talking exactly to you. Um, but this way, obviously, people are able to have a conversation with him and get maybe like a more personalised answer. Um, so it was actually really fun to build. And then for the fine tuning, I mainly did this around Ali's informal style, but also straight talking style, which felt like trying a bit of a balancing act. Once I'd kind of programmed in a lot of the content, it's having conversations with Ali's AI and then kind of going back through his content to match up um, how he actually answered a question in real life. So after Kimberly had trained Ali Abdul AI, we're at a really, really awesome stage, which is where we get alpha testers. And this bit's so important because we wanna make sure that we send it to people who are gonna chat to it, they're gonna test it out, they're gonna ask it stupid questions, and we're gonna make sure that it stands up to testing and that we can keep on improving it so it provides a really amazing experience for everyone who chats to it. So that's exactly what we did. So we got a little bit clever with how we got alpha testers. So Ali, on his Instagram story, posted a picture and a message to say, I'm making an AI version of me. Would you like to be one of the first people to test it out? Would you like to provide feedback? Let me know. And then a link to a form that we created. The clever thing about this was that we put it on his 10th story in so that we knew that only super fans who had gone through all his current stories, like 10 of them, would actually see it. And that worked incredibly well. So we got 166 responses. We sent them another form to ask them even more questions to say, okay, where are you now? Um, what are you working on in your business or in your career? Um, how are you dealing with your productivity right now? Because we wanted to make sure that these were challenges that the AI could address. So we knew we would get the best information and the best feedback. So 166 people filled it out. Um, I think about half of that filled in the second form. And then we selected 20 people and these became the alpha testers. And with the alpha testers, we asked them to check in with Ali Abdul AI five times over 14 days. And after they'd done each check-in, we asked them to complete a form with what their experience was, what they talked to the AI about, what could have been better, what was like what was useful about the check-in, and then um, the level of usefulness of the check-in, right from not very useful at all up to game changing. We had some amazing reviews and we had some very constructive reviews. And this is what we wanted. We weren't offended, <laughs> we weren't sad. We were just like, yes, this is good. Tell us what's wrong with it so that we can fix it now while we're using these 20 alpha testers so that then when it does go out to us, his entire audience, bearing in mind he's got over 5 million YouTube subscribers, we can make sure it's absolutely perfect for them. So this was a super valuable exercise. We heard from some people who really checked in with it a lot. Like they really got deep into this AI coaching world and they fully, a lot of them, fully believed that they were getting this coaching session from Ali. Of course they knew it wasn't him, but it didn't matter because it's his content, because the AI engages just like him, they got that sense of familiarity. And because his name's there, because his picture's there, they're just like, wow, I'm getting help through my challenges from someone who really inspires me, whose work I've followed for ages. So it was super cool to get all these responses. And remember, these are people who will look at Ali's story when it's 10 images in, 10 videos in. These are super fans. These are not just any people. These are people who are going to scrutinize. They're gonna notice if something's off straight away. So these are absolutely perfect people that we had on board as alpha testers. Yeah, I wanna tell you the feedback. I wanna tell you what people have been saying about Ali Abdul AI, who they've been chatting with. So let me send you this link, because we put it into a doc. Um, it's on WhatsApp. No way. Damn, that's some good feedback. This is really cool and feels like talking to Ali himself. This conversation was great. AI Ali gave several options on podcast topic, which were great. My second conversation with Ali AI, I've got to be honest, this time it really, and I mean really, felt like I was actually in a room with Ali. Well, I mean the way I identified my questions and started the answers with Ali like humor and started speaking with something to be hot. No way. This is so cool. Really useful experience. Ali provided very empathetic and compassionate responses, interesting, with his characteristic cheeky humor mixed in. I even asked him about the medication I'm taking since I knew he was formerly a doctor and he was able to answer the question proficiently. That's really cool. Topics and challenges on my YouTube channel. Fitting everything in, hiring a VA, hyper focus. Did this coaching session make you think? It's probably new action to train. 83% of people saying yes. Which of the best described your conversations with Ali Abdul AI? Very useful, somewhat useful, game changing, not useful. Oh, nice. That, that's pretty solid. 
Hmm. So if I were using an AI to respond, I wouldn't want to pretend like I'm not. So I'd probably say to them, I would probably do a, I, like if Aram, my assistant is responding to the emails, he'd probably be like, hey, whoever, hey Johnny, Aram here. Um, we, we, thanks for the question. We, we get questions like this all the time and I can't reply to each of them individually. And so we uh, decided to train an AI model based on everything he said. Here's what it says in response to your, in response to your email. I hope that helps. And you can, you can, you can chat with it here if you, if you would like to. It would kind of just be interesting to put, because sometimes people write entire like essays about their life circumstances and then it's unclear what their question is. But being able to parse that through the AI could be kind of interesting. Do you want to try one? Have you got one in front of you? This is a pretty solid reply. And it's quite long. It's like taking their concerns seriously. As for filtering through all the advice out there, remember that not all advice will apply to your new situation. It's okay to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. You're the expert on your own life after all. Finally, remember that it's okay to start small. You don't have to fix everything at once. In fact, trying to do so can often lead to burnout. Instead, focus on making small, consistent changes. Over time, these small changes can help to make results. I hope this helps. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You got this. This is cute. I would actually write something like this. This is nice. I am so pumped that Ali loves his AI and especially that we found the perfect use case for it. So if you want to create an AI version of you to generate leads or to add value to your clients and your audience, check out the link in the description below. It is coachbox.ai. Or if you want to find out more, you can watch my interview on the Deep Dive podcast with Ali. We talk about AI coaches, we talk about maximizing your human potential, and of course, we also talk about productivity. See you there.